privacy settings in Facebook mm -hmm. so that you can, because really I want to protect you, I want you to be safe. So you can protect what information is on there, on your profile. And how do you do that? In the privacy settings. Mm -hmm. If you go into Facebook, it's on the top and right hand side, and you drop down to settings and you can kind of control uh, individually or in groups or whatever you want. Uh, so your friends and family or uh, distant family, you can give them a different privacy so they can't tell, you know, here's my email address, here's my phone number. So you can kind of control that. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. That's very good to know. Let's move on to Flickr. Flickr, I love. Yes. Flickr is yeah. the, the, the photos that you take, and you can make your little photo albums. Right. Is that... Well, and really, you can take a lot of pictures, and Flickr is free, mm -hmm. and you can upload them. You can upload short videos into Flickr. Mm -hmm. um, Fl Flickr is not just photo storage. It is also a networking thing, and that's that's the beautiful thing. How is that used for networking? Because people can actually find your picture, mm -hmm. uh, find you, and find your pictures. That's and, a little scary. <laughs> but now, wait a second. Just okay. the same way like Facebook, you can set the privacy. This is only going to go to my friends and family. This is only going to go to my contacts. Or this is invisible to the, everybody, and it's just mine. So you can set all three of those mm -hmm. for every individual picture or sets or whatever you want to do in Flickr. Mm -hmm. But a uh, great way to show, and especially since we're all separated, mm -hmm. here's uh, my daughter's birthday party, here's this, here's that. And a great way to share all these different things. That we have digital cameras, we take hundreds of pictures, throw them up into Flickr and share them with the people that are important. Is the internet ever going to be full? I mean, there's yeah. so many <laughs> pictures and videos and everything from everybody. I can't imagine that there's even any room left. Well, and the, the, lately what has happened is the storage has become so cheap mm -hmm. that it's very easy to, uh, we don't have constraints. So storage has become very simple, very easy to have as unlimited storage because it has become cheap. So all your photos, everything like that, your videos, that's why, you know, you could... YouTube gets so many different videos every how, day. How in the world can YouTube even absorb all those videos? I mean, let alone I'm sending many, many out. And if you haven't seen the site, go to sflivetv.com, my own little plug there. And also, by the way, if you want to call in and participate in this conversation, it's 621-4473. That's 415-621-4473. Um, so yeah, YouTube must have just so so many. There's no like peak oil. Is there any peak amount that no? No, they're they're just going to take every video uh, that they can, and they're very happy doing it. They've got storage. And every water skiing hamster yes. is going to be on yeah. video up on YouTube. Let's go on to LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn, and why would I need that? Well, let me equate this this way to a business person. Um, anybody who's in business, LinkedIn is your resume. Whereas um, Facebook might be a great place to uh, the lobby and, and actually enjoy your friends or what have you. Uh, LinkedIn tends to be much more business oriented. Mm -hmm. So if you're in business, probably what you did was you went to LinkedIn and you created a profile and that's it. You stopped and you left it and you're done with it. And yet uh, there are people out there uh, LinkedIn is a valuable resource if you're in sales, if you're looking to make new connections. LinkedIn is a fabulous place. Why uh, is that? Because demographically, you can search uh, for LinkedIn. You can search for people in particular industries, mm -hmm. in a zip code, in a geographical area. A uh, job search, you can do a great job search. You can look for titles. Uh, I want to find somebody who is a vice president. I could search LinkedIn and pull up every vice president in a particular zip code. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about LinkedIn. So that's more like just static fishing, where you throw it out and let the little bobbin float and the little worms on the hook, and you put the pole down and you just walk away and wait for nibbles. Yes, absolutely. So okay, whereas Facebook fishing, which is really great, I'm your friend, now I'm going to go check out your friends, and oh my gosh, I know that person, and I'm going to go friend them because they know this person, and you actively can use that to find so many people. Well, and actually all of social media, what you can do is you can, and that's the part, the voyeuristic part, is you can see my friends and then follow my friends. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can actually, if you find somebody that's well-connected, you can actually go and grab all of their connections and say, will you be my friend? Will you connect with me? And you can kind of piggyback off of somebody else's success. Oh, very good. Very mm -hmm. good. We have some more um, that I'm not really sure of that you're telling me about. I'd like to know what a geotag is. 
Well, geotagging, good question, mm -hmm. uh, because we brought up YouTube. Mm -hmm. And in videos in particular, what happens is in your video, you you shot it out here. Uh, let's let's use this Valencia Market. Mm -hmm. So I shot this video on Valencia Market. I put it up into YouTube. Now what I do is I, I tell YouTube that this is where it is. And let's talk about GPS coordinates. So you have longitude and latitude. Here's where it is. Or in YouTube, it makes it kind of pretty easy. It says, what's the street address? And so you can actually geotag and it'll pull it up in Google Maps. Because <laughs> guess who owns YouTube? Google does. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So then what happens is you can geotag that video. And that's great. It's in YouTube. And you're telling the world this is where it is. But in Google Maps, it also shows up. Is Google Maps the one where it comes down, like from space down into the street, and then you can do the little look around and catch people with their lattes, like walking by, right? Google Earth. Google Earth. That's, that's Google so Earth. crazy. You can see in windows, yeah. and they're watching Seinfeld in there. And I mean, it's yeah. really clear. Oh yeah. That's how yeah. do they do that? They take a little van and drive around and just keep snapping, or no, no. Now you're talking about the street view uh -huh. on yeah. Google Maps. Yes. Okay, so the street view is actually vehicles that drive around. Um, I did a short little interview with one of one of them, but they wouldn't let me put it up. Oh. They wanted to keep themselves private. Um, but they're little cars, and they have this little thing, this camera that goes all around, uh -huh. and they just drive down streets, and they just it automatically is collecting everything. Yeah. It's kind of scary to me. It's kind of scary. Big brother. It's a little big brother to me, I have mm -hmm. to admit. And it just all of a sudden came crashing. I mean, when did Facebook actually start? My friends were poking me and poking me and poking me until I finally joined Facebook. Yeah. But when did this all start? Probably about five years ago. I, I think they just had a birthday. Um, I don't want to say it was five <laughs> years ago. Happy birthday, Facebook. Yeah. Very good. Uh, five years <laughs> Twitter ago. Twitter had a birthday too. It's, I think, three years old or so. Really? Why did I only hear about tweeting now? I mean, uh, because Congress was tweeting or somebody. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah amazing to me and how were they tweeting they were during obama's speech on their smartphones on their oh smartphones yeah how does somebody so whether tweet? it's a blackberry or an ipod uh or an iphone what they're doing is uh, all of these social media sites have applications that work on smartphones and so with your smartphone uh, somebody has made something that is very easy for you to twitter mm -hmm. uh, to take a picture and put it up into Flickr, or okay. linkedin mm -hmm. or any of these things very simple so I have a little sample here of um, Mark Lenna is going to be on the show first. And I went, I went to his website to look for some uh, information on him. And I don't know if you can see this or not. He has Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, all like a Denny's menu all the way yeah. on the side. Just point, point, point wherever you want to go. Why should you put all of those things up on your website? I actually, I, I follow him on Facebook. And so we're connected. Uh -huh. um, but the reason he has those buttons, uh, they're not buttons. They're actually, they are, they're not just little signs. They are direct connections to him. And this is where social media, what, what ends up happening is, I like uh, YouTube, and mm -hmm. you like something different. Mm -hmm. And really being on all these different networks uh, might be a little cumbersome for Mark, mm -hmm. but it's a very important for people who want to connect to him. And so he's making it in the easiest way. If I come across him, how do I connect with him on LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube? That's what those are. Those are widgets so that I can very quickly go right to his Facebook profile. I don't have to look for him. He's directing me right to him. Ah. So, Mike, if all of these things are free for us to join, Flickr, you know, you can get Twitter, Facebook, all these, LinkedIn, YouTube, why would I need you to help me as a consultant uh, if they're all free? Well, if you are, if you're just a regular consumer, uh, no. Uh, you don't need me. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in sales, and of course your sales are down because everybody's sales are down. Um, it's just the way life is. Right now what happens is um, I am, I'm coming in and I'm teaching uh, sales staff how to uh, use social media and effectively look for the clients that they had mm -hmm. or the clients that they would like to have and connect and engage with them because ultimately it's all about engaging with them um, and, and that's kind of what I'm doing for an individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, so really it's using social media correctly and kind of coaching and setting up a social media plan for them. So as an individual that mm -hmm. works somewhere, uh, what would be, let's say, the top three that you really should have in order to um, just live your life better? I mean, which three are most helpful if you had to pick a top three? Well, really, in um, I like 
uh, you need LinkedIn is fabulous mm -hmm. for that fishing net, let's call it. Okay. Um, and finding those people. But when, when you find them and you've got the hook, where are you leading them to? Where's the message? Where's 